Hey, welcome to Tom's workshop. Today we're working on this big cast iron table that I got. It's uh, 611 pounds, not including the stand. And I got some big locking six inch by two inch wide wheels to hold this thing up. They're definitely uh, enough to hold a pretty big load, so I expect no problems. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going to bolt this vise down to the bench top. And what I've been doing is drilling and tapping holes. See that? So we're going to drill and tap a hole. Figured you find that interesting, and then we'll bolt the vise down. get going. I've already drilled a small pilot hole here and I've got this uh, big bit according to my chart for a 5 8 bolt you got to drill a 17 64th which is what this is, which is just shy of 9 sixteenths. You could probably do it with a 9 sixteenths, but I'm just going by the chart and I happen to have the bit. So, one of the nice things about drilling cast iron is it's got a lot of graphite in it. You don't really need to lubricate when you drill it or when you cut it. It's pretty incredible. So, let's get to drilling. through this is this table is an inch thick which is incredible <laughs> okay anyway you can tell when you're drilling cast iron you get this powdery gray um, chips and that's so uh, most of that that's because there's a lot of graphite in it so when you when you see that you know you're drilling cast iron Alright. So now for the tap. We got a 5 8 tap. And now I know what I said, but I think it's a little different when you're tapping. I never tap without oil. I could probably get away with it, but I'm just all. Good feel natural to me. When you run a tap, you want to back up every once in a while to kind of clear the cutting portion of the threads. There's a lot that builds up in these little gaps here, and if you go backwards every once in a while, it'll it'll clear that out. 
you're tapping into a hole that's open on the bottom, some of that stuff will fall right through. If you're tapping into a blind hole, you'll want to come out and vacuum it out or blow it out with air or something just to clear it. Feels like we're almost there. I think we're through. Okay, very nice. Look at that. Perfect threads. See all that build up there? That's what I'm talking about. That's all metal that was cut out of the way when we're cutting the threads. sit here and watch me drill and tap all four holes. You've seen one, you've seen them all. I know some guys like to make you watch everything. I think that's a little boring. So here's the vise. some work. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great one.